Hello everyone, if you've ever wanted to turn data or ideas into polished visuals without spending hours designing them, this video is for you. We're going to walk through four workflows using Notebook LM and Gemini 3 that create animated charts, unbelievable infographics, heat maps, and interactive strategy boards in minutes. So let's get started. So for our first use case, we will create an animated race bar chart that shows how fast different industries are adopting AI. If you want to show movement over time, a normal chart won't give you the full picture. A race bar chart lets you see who is leading, who is catching up, and who is falling behind. The first thing we'll do is create a new notebook, then click on Discover Sources, which will take you to Fast Research. So here in the search box, we'll enter AI adoption statistics by industry from 2010 to 2025, including finance, healthcare, retail, logistics, manufacturing and education. Notebook LM pulls in reports from sources like McKinsey, IBM, Deloitte and the WEF. When the results appear, we click import. Now we want to turn this into a clean data set. So in the chat panel, we'll enter provide AI adoption rates by industry from 2010 to 2025 in a structured year by year table format with percentages. Notebook LM gives us a tidy table with the industry years, the AI adoption rates with all the percentages filled in. And this is exactly what we need for the animation. Next, we copy the entire data set and move over to Google Gemini, paste the data set in, select Canvas and enter this prompt. Create an animated race bar chart showing AI adoption rates across major industries from 2010 to 2025. Include finance, healthcare, retail, logistics, manufacturing and education. Make the bars move dynamically as the percentages change each year with colors for each industry and a clear label for every year. Use the provided data set to generate the animation. We run the prompt and look at how it's transformed our data, giving us a really clear picture of how AI adoption is shifting across industries over time. You can actually see the the story unfolding as the bars move. Some industries rise quickly, others slow down, and a few completely change position as the years progress. It's immediately obvious who leads, who catches up, and where the big jumps happen. So in minutes, we've turned a static data set into a clear, dynamic comparison across industries and that you can instantly add to your presentations. So for our second use case, we will create an infographic from YouTube content. And this is a useful workflow when you want to turn longer videos into a clear, structured visual that you can use in your presentations or analysis. We'll start by creating a new notebook in Notebook LM, then click on Discover Sources, which takes us to Fast Research. And here in the search box, we'll enter the topics we want Notebook LM to pull from multiple videos. For this example, we'll enter Find YouTube videos on what an AI agent is, how agentic AI works, the internal process or loop, components or modules, real examples, benefits and limitations. Notebook LM brings back the most relevant videos. And once the list appears, we click import. Next, we want to extract the essential points. So in the chat panel, we'll enter extract the key explanations from this video and structure them clearly. Focus on what an AI agent is, how agentic AI works, the internal process or loop, components or modules, real examples, benefits and limitations. Summarize everything in bullet points with no filler. Notebook LM turns the video content into a structured summary, short points, clear sections and ready for the infographic. Now we copy the summary and move over to Gemini, paste it in, select canvas and enter this prompt, convert the explanation into an infographic, organize the content into the following sections. And again, we add the main sections of the infographic. So this is the infographic we've generated. And what's impressive here is how accurately it follows the structure we specified. Every section is exactly where we asked it to be. And each one is filled with clear, precise points that match the content we fed into Notebook LM. The top row breaks down the core ideas. The workflow is laid out step by step in a way that's easy to follow. And the internal components are mapped out with the right relationships between them. I really like the visual elements it's used, the way it presents the strengths and limitations, and then look at how accurate the text is. Overall, the quality of this infographic is amazing. So for our third use case, we will create an animated heat map that shows how AI related skills shift over time. And this is a great way to visualize demand patterns and highlight where shortages are growing year by year. We'll start by creating a new notebook in Notebook LM, then click on Discover Sources. And here in the search box, we'll enter Skills Gap Reports for 2015 to 2025, focusing on AI related roles, including shortage intensity, demand peaks and emerging new roles. Use sources such as WEF Future of Jobs, LinkedIn Workforce Insights, IBM Skills Survey and McKinsey Reports. Notebook LM pulls insights from multiple labor market reports. And once the list appears, we click Import. 
Next, we want Notebook LM to turn this into a data set we can animate. So in the chat, we'll enter, create a structured data set for a heat map showing AI related skills gaps from 2015 to 2025. Use years as rows and skill categories as columns include shortage intensity levels, demand peaks, and indicators for emerging new roles. So this is the structured data set Notebook LM returned. It gives us the full timeline from 2015 to 2025, and each row is broken into clear columns for skill category, shortage intensity, demand peaks, and emerging roles. It captures the trends, signals, and new role indicators in a format that's ready to convert straight into the animated heat map. Now we copy the data set and move over to Google Gemini, paste the table in, select canvas, and enter this prompt. Create an animated heat map that displays AI skills gaps from 2015 to 2025. Use the data set below to generate color intensity for each skill category. Animate the heat map row by row so that each year fades or slides into view. Show shortage intensity, demand peaks, and new roles emerging. Use a grid layout with readable colors, year labels on the left, and skill categories across the top. We run the prompt, and Gemini turns the data set into a moving heat map that reveals how demand rises, dips, and shifts over the decade. You can see certain skills intensifying year after year, others cooling off, and entirely new roles emerging partway through the timeline. So in minutes, we've built a visual timeline that gives a clear sense of how the skills landscape evolves, and it highlights exactly where attention is shifting as organizations adapt to the changing demands of AI. So for our fourth use case, we will create an interactive strategy board that brings together the major AI market trends for 2025 to 2030. And this workflow is ideal when you want something more dynamic than a static chart, especially for strategy work or market analysis. Again, we'll start by opening a new notebook in Notebook LM, then use fast research to find our sources. And here in the search box, we'll enter latest AI market trend reports for 2025 to 2030, include trend categories, key drivers, barriers, adoption rates, business impact, and recommended actions. Use sources like McKinsey, Gartner, WEF, IBM, OECD, Deloitte, and major industry surveys. Once the results appear, we click import. Next, we want Notebook LM to organize this into something structured. So in the chat panel, we'll enter, organize all AI market trends for 2025 to 2030 into a structured data set. Use the following columns and trend category, description, key drivers, key barriers, adoption rate, business impact, recommended action format, the result as a table. Notebook LM turns the research into a clear data set. Each trend sits on its own row with the details split into the columns we specified. Now we copy the data set and move over to Google Gemini, paste it in, select Canvas, and enter this prompt. Create an interactive market trends strategy board for AI market trends from 2025 to 2030. Use the data set below to populate all entries, include filters for trend category, adoption rate, business impact, impact and recommended action. Add hover panels showing description, key drivers, and key barriers. Use a modern layout with soft color accents and build it using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Use only the data set provided. Then we run the prompt, and this is the strategy board that Gemini has generated. And you can see straight away how well it brings all the trend data together in a structured interactive format. The filter section at the top lets you switch between categories, adoption levels, impact levels, and recommended actions. Actions. Each card shows the trend category, the strategic action, and a clear summary of what the trend is about. The adoption and impact indicators are easy to read. And when you hover over a card, the detailed view opens with the key drivers and barriers laid out in an organized, consistent way. Looking at the examples here, governance, agentic systems, automation, and generative AI, all the text is accurate and closely aligned with the data set we built in Notebook LM. Overall, the board presents the information in a way that's structured, interactive, and practical to use, making it ideal deal for reviewing trends, supporting strategy discussions, or highlighting priority areas across the AI landscape. And that wraps up the fourth workflow. Each of these examples shows how quickly you can turn structured research into visuals that are ready for analysis, presentations, or decision making. The combination of Notebook LM and Gemini makes the whole process fast, organized, and precise. If you found these workflows helpful, make sure to subscribe for more step-by-step -step AI workflows and see you in the next one.